hi guys you are welcome to another video uh now to trade uh volatility 75 index and step index on the lower time frames okay we are going to look at how we can scalp and make some profit uh, on the lower time frames but uh, before we go to the lower time frames we are going to look at what has happened on the higher time frames okay i'm on volatility 75 index daily time frame and uh, the daily time frame shows that uh, the price of uh, v75 is currently uh reversing uh the bullish trend this bullish trend we have is currently uh, reversing uh to the downside all right so that's what we have on the daily time frame and we can see that the bears have been dominating okay the bears are in control every rise by the bulls is being countered uh, by the bears you can see another rise here countered another rise then countered of course we expect another rise and we expect it to be countered uh personally i'm looking at the two eight three eight five eight area as um, the next stop for the next move okay so um that's that for vision five on the daily time frame uh on the daily time frame we, st we have this uh, descending trend line as long as the descending trend line is respected uh, by price we expect price to continue to go down okay so that's that for the daily time frame. let's quickly go to the four hour time frame what do we have on the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame for volatility cent five index you can see uh, price at, is attempting to recover okay we're having something like a retracement uh, but the current the last couple of four hour candlesticks uh, shows that the bears are already trying to push back price back to this very ascending trend line okay so the bears are currently trying to counter this move all right you can see this particular move being countered up to this point then another move up to this point currently being countered back to this point so a break of the ascending trend line a break of this ascending trend line should send a uh, price down okay to this uh, red support area this other block we have this other block around here we expect the price to drop to that level so a break of this support area also should send price down and then the overall trend which is a bearish trend is expected to continue all right so that's that for the four hour time frame uh, let's look at what we have on the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame we can see a price forming is a high this is a low higher high higher low higher high higher low so that's like a bullish trend developing but the overall trend is bearish so um a break below this current low that's the three 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 eight seven two uh should signal that uh price will drop and then a break below this um ascending trend line around here should signal that uh price will drop to uh the low point this particular i'm talking about this particular low point which is the three two four eight three two level now the break of that level will send price to uh three one five seven six eight and the break of three one five seven six eight to confirm that the bearish trend has continued this will give us the break of structure to continue to sell the bearish uh, this the current overall bearish trend all right so that's this and five on the one hour time frame let's look at what we have what we have on the uh the 30 minutes time frame let's see on the 30 minutes time frame the trend is still bullish it's still bullish so um though the bears are already in and they are trying to retrace price but with what we currently have price is expected to still try to go up possibly we have a double top on the 30 minutes time frame before we start to see some down um, on the 15 minutes time frame what do we have uh, we can see that the bears are trying 
let's push price down but with the current weeks this uh weeks this um shadow uh, at this point like a triple bottom uh this shows that the bulls are trying to you know counter the movement or the price movement by the bears so my see price breaking this particular descending trend line and then going up price breaks this trend line we have triple like a tree drive pattern and the price might go up going up price could target the top around the uh around the three four three two eight three area so you might want to consider scalp buying at the break of the neckline the break of the neckline if we have the price uh going up to this point we have it going up to this point uh we can expect to buy if it breaks this neckline if it breaks this next neckline we expect to buy and then possibly target the next neckline which is at the three four one one four level area okay let's look at the five minutes what we have the five minutes you can we can see uh the triple bottom much more clearer this is the first bottom on the five minutes time frame this is the second bottom and this is the third bottom so we expect to buy a v75 at the break first at the break of this neckline then at the break of the next neckline okay expect to buy v75 but this v75 is algorithm based price could just start to go Instead of buying it could start to go down so of course we have liquidity in this area so price could grab the liquidity before i mean grab the liquidity by going down before going up so anything can happen but look for buying opportunities for now short buys scalp buys and the overall trend on the higher time frame is bearish okay the one out Time frame shows that the, uh, there is a, this on the on the one minute time frame shows that there is this double top. Look at this double top on the one minute at uh, the triple top rather on the one minute time frame. Okay, and pu this pushed price downwards, but now we're having triple bottom still on the one minute time frame. So we might be seeing price uh, going up a bit, but the overall trend on recent five uh well at least and five index is the overall trend is bearish but for now because of this triple bottom my see price going up a bit so that's that for this and five uh let's look at step index for step index on the daily time frame we can see that price has found a bottom and will i have this morning star this morning star pattern so this like a price has found support and it's trying to go up okay found support around here it's trying to go up so if we are going to ride with the trend with the new new and uh, with the up movement you might target 8737 as your next tp take profit level okay but the overall trend is still bearish and price is targeting uh the 8595 area okay let's look at what we have on the four hour time frame we can see a triple bottom or inverted error shoulder on the four hour time frame uh, this is the left shoulder uh this is the right at uh, the head and this is the right shoulder so price is targeting uh the 8737.5 area so you might want to consider buying on the one hour time frame we have you can see like a tree drive okay this is the first bottom and this is the second bottom this second bottom is higher than the first bottom and this is the third bottom which is higher than the second bottom so like a tree drive and you can see what's happening price is trying to go up so uh the overall trend is bearish but for now price is trying to go up 
uh on the 30 minutes time frame what we have 30 minutes time frame you can see that the bulls are in charge and they are trying to push push price up uh the, the trying to push price up price got to this particular other block which is a resistance area you can see price tested the other block and came down but now we have a break of the structure around the price came down and then find found some support i uh, can see a break of this particular structure and price is going up so you might consider buying but the overall trend is bearish okay on the higher time frame also on the 15 minutes time frame we can see that price is forming higher high higher low this low is higher than this low this high is higher than these highs and this particular high is higher than this high so we are expecting a, a, a higher low possibly around here and then we'll see price trying to go up all right so you might look for buying opportunities on step index on the five minutes time frame you can see that price is currently raging uh, price rose and then we can see this resistance price meet met with resistance around here and price trying to drop but more like a range uh, or more like a flag all right so we might want to wait for the flag breakout for us to join the buyers okay it's advisable to buy for now that's step index on the, on the five minutes time frame on the one minute time frame we can see the range price is ranging the buyers and the sellers are happy with one another and as the buyers are pushing price down the channel uh, the sellers are pushing it up okay until we see a breakout possibly to the top before we enter the buy trade so that's that for today's video if you are here to subscribe to the uh, channel go ahead and click the subscribe button you can go ahead and like the video if you like what you just saw can drop comments below the video ask questions try as much as possible to respond to your question you can also share the video to your friends and loved ones uh you can also click the bell button below the video uh, so that when we release another video tomorrow you'll be notified uh you can drop uh, go to our website www.dnfxtrader.com to learn more on how to trade volatility index you can also go to another website of us fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade uh till i come your way tomorrow it's bye for now